I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Cunebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu, I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real, and their power is within our grasp. Ah! You will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kunibert. Is it cloves I taste? Well. That concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Sigurd is lost to us. You can't wait to kill my ass, Saxons! You heard the lady! Leave no one alive! Okay, let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. <laughs> This will not be for nothing, Eivor. 
We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. Ja! Be gentle if they spot me. This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She hates us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise.
Phillips. Show me. So we are to blunder in like an ox. Hey, come here.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. They will attack on sight here. This must be the way to Fulke's Sanctum. Then let us go.
What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? <coughs> the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Hmm. By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. Details on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but it's not their head. Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have! A fortress in Sussex. The Order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Sigurd is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look, but for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim, she severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally? It's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tepman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready.
Ivor, have you seen Wallace? Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he is alive, but not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. Stop there, Wolfkist! This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. 
And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag. But that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! You spew nonsense, Dag. This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made! I'll make a goblet of your skull! Please! Please, both of you! I do not want to do this! Walk away! Walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. What's the matter, Eivor? Are you scared? Only for what I must do. Do you not see what is? I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. Please! Please! Both of you! You could have waited! You could have come with me! You are a fool! I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded you gave him, that should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this, and fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, you'll find it in the next. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields. Dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That! That is my oath! That is my oath.
I'll find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. You died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well. Think on you often, Dag. <laughs> 